This is Sir Tap Tap, and has anyone seen my pants? I I just have not seen my pants for over a week, and gotten slightly concerned over this fact. But maybe that's because I'm the man with the invisible trousers. When you are old, this will be retro. This this screen here will be retro. It's like an 8-bit hammer, I guess. I don't know. Begin. The music's good. Let's turn it up slightly. Square root of dog equals poodle, I guess. So, I like the I like this effect on the menu, the little the slidiness. But um, I do not approve of this sub menu name. You click don't play, and there's these other things. It's not a good heading. Like I never would have expected there would be a level editor, and I didn't realize the credits would be over here. Oh, it's Radical Dog, but I guess that makes more sense than Square Root of Dog. But yeah, Thomas Knight made this game. Music is by these dudes. Voice acting is by these dudes. This, this dude. This dudes. Some levels by these people. Death, Courtesy Adam. Ninja Captain. Well, Ninja Captain apparently killed someone. The police will probably be glad to know this. There's also a level editor. I don't know how to use it. Let's go back to the main menu. But yeah, I do not approve of this heading here. Honestly, if you made it two columns, you could put all the menu items. But anyway. New game. We're a team of five detectives. We fight crime. But Johnny's dead. So I guess we're four detectives. Johnny spent his life in a single room. So it must have been an inside job. Oh snap. He's quite dead. Yes, he's definitely quite dead. But how? Who? Whom? When? Which? It was one of us. And look, someone helpfully scrawled the controls in blood on the wall. Damn, check out these trousers. These nice five pairs of trousers there. That's excellent. Are women supposed to wear trousers, or is that... Does it just mean pants? I don't rightly know. But yeah, physics work exactly like you'd expect them to in this game. Absolutely nothing unusual about them at all. You just walk right to the door. There are no gimmicks. Okay, there's one gimmick. Yeah, see, that that is a one-sided platform there, so... You just gotta walk to the left, obviously. Oops. You gotta walk to the left and stop when you hit the door, so you don't slide out to your death. There you go. Stop, it's so upsetting. I know you've been going through a tough time. Your father's health bills are stacking up, and now this will prove Alistar did it right. I mean, you know that grudge held against Johnny. Who's Alistar? Am I Alistar? Are you gossiping about me? You frickin' catty. Ladies, you. Yeah, this is still a one-way thingy. See it? Oh! Oh noes, I can't climb this way, so... Let's take a walk to the right. There we go. You have to be feet on the ground to get into the door. And I'm not sure the point of this level is to show off, like, Hey, look, we made a fish. I mean, it's a pretty nice fish, but... You press down to view the whole map. Sometimes it's fairly big. Here's some more of the one-way walkiness. So, there is our door, and we want to be feet on the ground, so... Ah, no! Oh, oh, spikes. Spikes hurt! I'll, I'll give you a minute to let that sink in. So yeah, let's go this way. Where is, where is the door? Let us find this door. And don't tell me I can just view everything with a down button. That... You shut your face. I refuse to do that. Okay, there we go. Doing all these loops and things, I feel kind of like Sonic. Hey, someone scrawled I have daddy issues in blood. That's, that's probably not a clue. It says you're too old. Ha, I knew Jenny would write that. <laughs> yeah, Jenny wrote you're too old in blood on the wall. That's That wouldn't be suspicious. Also, you have bad eyes, sir. Why would someone like Lily even kill someone? I don't know. You are short, sir. I laugh at you. 
Alrighty O's. Well, what to do here is obvious, right? Except it doesn't let you jump quite right, so... Actually, I'm not sure if there is an alternate way of doing... Oh! Wait, I am a genius. There we go. You can actually kind of glitch that out. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it, though. Oops. There we go, that's what I meant to do. All radio. Wait. Hey. Um. You can stand on spikes, apparently. That's not where I wanted to be. Right, let's just jump up here very carefully. Alrighty. Now, up here, and doorway. Guess I can't go that way. Where is the door? It's up there. Not 100% sure what I'm doing. Oh, that's no problem. Okay, let's see if this works. It does! Excellent. You know, this is a surprisingly big room, considering Johnny... Was his name Johnny? Yeah, only lived in one room. It's a pretty big one, so... He lived like a king that lived in a single room. Which is pretty lame for being a king, honestly. But, say la vie. Um, there you go. Now there's a spinny thingy. What's what's spinny on the thingy? That was not what you're supposed to do. And how are we going to get? Can I glitch it? Ah, uh, it's not gonna let me glitch it. Who's a glitchy glitchy? If you time it exactly right, you can jump while standing upright onto this thing. I don't remember how to do this properly without doing that, actually. I shouldn't have been going all glitchy and stuff. And I learned how to do this the first time. Well, kind of. When I did a test run. Oh, there we go. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do that, but it works. So whatever. Ow. This music is pretty sweet. This room, however, is pretty weird. Well, I'm just gonna hope I have to go this way. Excellent. I know you did it, James. I have proof. There was a pair of invisible glasses in the room. Oh god, my invisible glasses. You left them here when you killed Johnny. No, that fat guy wears glasses, you stupid harlot. Well, you shut your face. Frickin' accusing me of murder. I'm the I'm the protagonist. There's no way I did anything wrong. I'm I'm the good guy. You guys are all suspects. Open that door, buddy. You can you can go on in there. You both know this to be a fact. Okay, so what are we doing here? Oh, that was easy. Oh dear. Well, let's go straight down, and ow! Wasn't the best idea. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Okay, I'm getting... Hmm. Whoa! Pain. Okay, having a bit more view normally would help a lot in this situation. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not going to be able to get over that, am I? Nah. Well, then what do I do here? Ah! Not that. Can I go this way? No, I can't. Probably stop wasting time. That does not work. But... I don't... I do not like this level. I mean, what I ultimately need to do is obvious. But... Okay, let's... Let's... Okay. 
The reverse controls are annoying. Okay, yeah. Thought that was probably what you had to do. There's a phallic thingy here. And then there's a... Oops. Um, that's not what I wanted to accomplish in life. But it'll do. It'll do. Oh, shoot. Alright. Now here. And this... Probably did not... Yeah, I don't think that helped at all. Let's do a 180. Um, Healy backflip and uh, skateboard words. I don't know. Uh, let's try that. Oh, snap! Haha. <laughs> One unusual thing about the design is with the tight jumps like that, I'm not 100% sure if I did the puzzle right or if I kind of glitched it out. Crap. Um. This is the opposite direction that I need to be in. Up, oh, but now I'm back here. Wait. No. Get on there, you stupid butt face. Would you get back on your feet normal wise, sir? It's very inconvenient for me. Okay, there we go, there we go. Not as hard as I thought. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Rude. Spikes. Ow. I don't like spikes. Actually, I do like spikes, just not ones that kill me. I generally don't like things that kill me of any variety, actually. Not just a spikes thing. Let's go through here. Go up the stairs. Where's the door? I should probably... Holy crap, this thing is huge. Okay, but it's a maze, though, so it's probably pretty one way. I'm hoping... Yeah, it looks like it's all just one big, pretty linear thing. Just gotta get out. Get murdered. Getting murdered tends to ruin puzzles. Usually. So... I'm gonna assume this is... No, I did not... Shoot. Okay, so... Alright, I need to fall down here. I need to... Okay, I need to fall up through this, so I need to be standing here. Do do do. Walk on here. Alright, I need to be feet on the ground. I got it. I got it. Ah! Spikes in the face. I need to be feet on the ground, spikes outside of my face. That's apparently the vital part of that equation here. Let me get a... I think I need a pad and paper to keep all of the track of whether or not spikes should be implanted firmly in my skull. Keep it with my grocery list. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, feet. Crap. I need my feet on the ground, sir. So, let's get this wise. Excellent. I see what they how Hey. I see what they did there. Alrighty. Let's not be impaled. Excellent. No impalement for me. Well, bleh! I lied. Impalement for everyone. Impalement is always fun for the children and, and everybody. What finer way to spend a Saturday night than a little impalement. Am I right? See, I don't... I don't like this puzzle. 
it's a bit annoying. Okay. Ah, damn it. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. You know, game, I have to wonder if there was, like, a conscious decision for some reason that's relevant to gameplay that, like, the character's leg should be invisible to the player so we can, uh, you know, something to do with the weird gravity and stuff. God damn it! Stupid reversed controls. I hate that so much. <sighs> yep. Even when I'm on the ceiling, when I press right, I really do think right, but... Uh, when I'm walking continuously, it makes sense, but when I flip on a ceiling like that, it's different. Anyway, I kind of have to wonder if, like, there was some reason that they wanted his pants to be invisible, or if there was, like, they just didn't want to draw the legs. I mean, it's not like the art style is lazy or anything, so I wouldn't accuse the all, the designer of that, but just fairly random. <laughs> no, God, son of a whore! I hate this level so hard. Why does that have to be right at the freaking end with no checkpoints? Nothing else, like, well, the level's really damn long, but nothing else is particularly frustrating aside from that stupid jump. Alrighties. This way, up here, whip. This way. Careful. There we go. What? Every button I press, I swear, just goes into the spikes. I'm I'm finishing this before I leave. I must. If the game doesn't continue on the exact level I finished on, I'm gonna murder people. Lots of them. Johnny will be the least of their problems if Johnny was the murdered one. I forget if I'm Johnny or if Johnny's the one that died. Probably bad. So I wonder if we'll have to like make some sort of choice and like pay attention to all the clues to try and put together who did the murder. Okay, okay. This goes right. Wait. Wait. Wh okay. Oh! Wait. What? You bastards. Alright. Alright, I got it. Now I go up here and I'm like, there's some stuff. Crap. There's some crap too. There's some stupid jumps. Okay, now I want to flip my ass around, shake it all about, and door, delicious door. I guess we'll never know who killed Johnny then. Hold it right there, Alistar, you're under arrest. But why? Because there were invisible glasses in the place, like I was just thinking. And who today lost their glasses? Coincidence? I think not, sir. Well, it gasp. And she's wearing glasses, so it couldn't have been her. Alistar, you've been locking... I couldn't read that. My job here is done. I'm exiting. Oh, hey. That was the last level. I guess it has... With Johnny's murderer uncovered, it was time to get a pizza. The only real mystery is, why do I have invisible trousers? And why did the shadows from my invisible trousers show? That's... That is not how light works, sir. 
Also, you don't have a neck. Ah! I will. Well, I'm glad I stuck it out through that one level. I did not think that was the last one. Whoa, that's loud. This has been the man with the invisible trousers. It's made by the guy I forgot the name of. Thomas Knight, a.k.a. Radical Dog. Here's their website. Well, here is a small portion of their website. You can go to it at the link. It'll be in the description. But yeah, it was a sweet game.